write a C++ program to demonstrate function definition outside class and accessing class members in function definition. For this, we have to create a class named rectangle with two data members length and breadth and include the constructor to initialize the data members and a method to find the area of rectangle. Define both the constructor and member function outside the class. In this program, we are learning how to use scope resolution operator so that we can define a member function outside the class. A member function can be declared inside the class and it can be defined outside. We created a class which is named as rectangle. Inside the class rectangle, we declare two data members of integer type named as length and breadth. Both length and breadth are in the private section of the class. In the public section, first we declared a constructor. The constructor has the same name as a class name. It takes two parameter, so it is a parameterized constructor, two integer parameters. Then we declared another member function which is named as find area, which is used to find the area of rectangle and return the result. So return data type of find area is int. Now we are defining the constructor and the member function outside the class. First we are defining the constructor. So since the constructor does not have any return data type, so it starts with the class name. Class name is rectangle followed by scope resolution operators. Scope resolution operator is written with two colon symbol followed by the constructor name. Constructor name is rectangle. It takes two parameter. First one is length and second one is breadth. Now the value of this parameter length and breadth should be saved into the data member value. So since the parameter name and the data member names are the same, in order to access the data member, we have to use this pointer. So we are writing this of length, this pointer length equals length and this pointer breadth equals breadth. So the value from the parameter length will get stored into the data member length. Similarly, the value from the parameter breadth will get stored into the data member breadth. Now we are defining the member function find area. First we have to mention the return data type. The return data type of the function is find area function is int followed by the class name. The class name is rectangle followed by scope resolution operator. Two colon symbol is used for scope resolution operator followed by the function name. Function name is find area. It does not take any parameter. The find area function will find the area of a rectangle. The area of a rectangle is length into breadth and the result will be return. In the main method, we are declaring two variable, which is named as L and B, which is used to take the value of length and 
breadth from the user. So we write C in L and similarly C in followed by extraction operator and B. So L and B are two variables which are used to accept the value of length and breadth from the user. Then after that we are creating an object for the rectangle class. The object is created as rectangle R1. Now rectangle constructor we have mentioned with two parameters. So L and B value will be passed into the constructor during the creation of rectangle object R1. So we have written R1 of L comma B. So L will go to the length and B will go to the breadth during the constructor call. After that we are calling the find area method by using the object R1, R1 dot find area. R1 dot find area will find the area of rectangle and returns the result. Since it is returning a result value, the R1 dot find area can be called from the cout statement directly. Execute and see the program output. 